Okay, hey everybody, welcome. So I have to start, I had to start the video over again because I couldn't figure out how to get on to my Instagram. So I think I figured it out. Uh, so bear with me. Um, let me get the live going on Instagram. Bear with me a few minutes. Are we there? Are we there? Are we there? If you're joining, welcome, 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 welcome. So tonight I'm going to do a talk about our favorite topic for February, more self-love talk about self-love and acceptance. But tonight I'm talking about how is the love, okay? So I don't know what's happening here. I'm trying to start this video. It says starting, but I don't see if I am live or not on here here we go all right okay everybody on Instagram welcome welcome and on Facebook so you know we're gonna try this how I did it last week we're gonna go live on both I'm gonna try this out okay so tonight's topic is uh, we're talking about more more self-love talk okay so tonight's topic is how is the love and I know you think that's a question but it's really a comment all right, so um, for those of you who are joining me, go ahead and wave to me, say hello, um, do something so I know that you're there, okay? Put up some hearts, uh, let me know where you're joining me from, that would be awesome, okay? So I can so I can know where you are joining me from. So uh, if you were on last week, you know that I'm going live on both Facebook and Instagram. So I'm going to be focusing on this camera, so if you see me and it feels like I'm not paying attention to you, I really am, it's just that... Uh, my cameras are not in sync or aligned, but I see you, so just go ahead and um, you can put comments in here. I'm testing this out. I tried it last week, and I was able to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, reply back in here, so we're going to try it out again, okay? All right, so for those of you who are joining, welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me, uh, my name is Sharana Patrice, and I am the go-to empowerment and lifestyle coach who teaches women how to build a life that they think is impossible, to follow their dreams, to build a life they think is impossible. And I'm here to tell you that it's not impossible, okay? But that's not what we're here to talk about tonight. Tonight, what we are talking about is more self-love. All right, so I usually give about three points that I wanna make. And so the title of this message is, How is the Love? And I know you think it's a question, but it's really not a question. It is a statement, how is is the love okay so hey Alanda I see you <laughs> um, so how is the love okay so if you were watching last year I did a series on self-love versus self uh, care and so what I was explaining was that self care is more of the what and then self love is the how okay so how are we loving ourselves so the first thing that I want to point out is the best way that you can begin to love yourself is to be kind. Okay, I know that sounds very simple, but you will know, well, you probably already know that you are your worst critic, okay? So being kind is a form of self-love, okay? How you talk to yourself, how you treat yourself, it is important, okay? So you can say things to yourself that are kind and loving. You can use affirmations. Um, you can start with terms like I am and follow that with something positive, like I am love or I am loving. I am beautiful. I am great. I am powerful. I am a leader. Whatever you want to follow that with, okay? Um, but it's important that you pay attention to the words that are coming out of your mouth and how you talk about yourself, okay? So I just wanna point that out. Now, if you guys are joining me, please let me know that you're here, okay? Say hello, wave to me, do something so that I know that you are here, okay? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna take a sip of water. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> my throat, I cannot. Okay, um, if you have trouble figuring out how to be kind to yourself. You know what you should start with? Make a list of things that you actually love about yourself. Like, are you artistic? Write that down. Do you, are you really good with music? Meaning like, 
do you create songs? Do you make up songs? Can you sing? Um, are you, let's see, a, a very detailed person? You know, um, are you organized? Are you um, persistent? That's one of my qualities. I feel like I'm a very persistent person. It, it comes in handy. Sometimes it could be a little bit annoying, but hey, it's how you look at it. I think it's a positive quality. Um, so you can just, yeah, focus on things that you do well or focus on the things that people say about you that are positive, right? So if you can't find something about yourself that you feel is kind or that you can say that's good about yourself, think about the things that uh, people compliment you on or the things that people come to you for, okay? So that's one way that you could focus on being kind, all right? I got comments in here. Hey, Jan, Steph, Jan, I see you. Hey, Erica, I see you. Easy breezy. Okay, cooking. Okay, you're really good at cooking. That's good. That is good. Let's see. Any, any other comments over here? Yes, focus on the things that you do well. All right? So that's part of it. Okay. Another thing that you can do to be kind to yourself is to honor and respect where you are in the moment. Okay, so... What I mean by that is we're not here to be perfect. And I know a lot of times you see all these people around you and everybody's living their best life and it looks like everybody's just doing it and they are just so amazing and nothing is going wrong. So not that's not true, okay? So if you are going through a phase or a moment where you're just not feeling it or, you know, maybe it's not your best or you're not feeling like you're, you're um, performing at your best, just give yourself some time to let it pass okay you don't have to always be on all the time okay and I'll just give you a good example so normally I do the midweek check-ins on Wednesday night well you guys yesterday I just was not feeling it at all I just wasn't the day just wasn't I just wasn't feeling the day I wasn't in the best mood my energy was really low and in my mind I was like well I need to do this midweek check-in, you know, I, I want to talk to the people, but I didn't want to show up looking like, mm, sad, depressed, you know, whatever, just looking crazy. So I just decided that, okay, I'm not in the best mood, so this is probably not a good time to do a live, or this is not a good time to uh, talk about something when I'm not really in that space. So you have to just honor and respect where you are in the moment, and you don't have to be perfect, you don't always have to be on, Okay. Um, I just didn't have the energy to put into it last night. So, but now I'm here. So today is a new day. It's a brand new time and I feel much better. So, um, my point is like, you don't always have to feel like you have to be perfect in every single moment. You just have to allow yourself to be who you are, where you are. And that's what it is. Okay. All right. So, oh, your smile, <clears throat> excuse me. Good skin, nice. Okay, Erica, I see you. Erica has a lot of compliments. The nice, great things about you, Erica. I see you. Okay, so next point I want to make. Okay, first one is being kind. Second one is um, treating yourself to things that make you feel good or doing things that make you happy. Okay, I know this is a very basic thing. Again, these are very simple things, but these are reminders because we need reminders sometimes. So you can focus on the things that make you feel good, all right? So for example, one of my things that I really like that I don't do as much is listen to music. I really, 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 really like music. Um, music puts me in a good mood. Um, <clears throat> some of my favorites are like throwback jams, like old school. I really love that. That puts me in the mood. Uh, hip hop, not in the mood, but in a good mood. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know, just songs that I could sing along to from childhood, just things that kind of bring back good memories. So I really like music. Um, another thing that I like to do, which is like two, it's a two four, it's exercise and it's also fun to me, but I do Zumba. So I just started going back to Zumba. I hadn't been going to Zumba just because of like work schedule and uh, timing and all that kind of stuff. But I really do like Zumba. It makes me feel like I am performing getting ready for a set I don't know with Janet Beyonce whomever like I really feel like I'm getting my life in Zumba class it makes me feel like I'm important it makes me feel like I know how to do choreography and dance and do all those things so that's my thing yes I see yes these are helpful to build 
confidence and lift your spirits like dancing or getting your nails done. Exactly, Erica. So um, she's mentioning like lifting your spirits. So that's something I do to, to lift my spirits. Getting your nails done. Maybe could be getting your hair done. Um, you know, just things that you do for yourself to make you feel good. And here's another thing. It doesn't always have to be something that costs a lot of money. It could just be something simple that you do. It could be uh, something as simple as um, getting like one of those uh, diffusers and putting like essential oils in there, like lavender or a scent that you really like, like citrus or uh, lemongrass or eucalyptus or something, whatever that smells good. You know what I really like is um, myrrh and uh, sandalwood together. There's like a candle, there's a candle that I bought a little while back at, uh, I think it was like Home Goods or Marshalls. Um, that's, I get a lot of my candles from like Home Goods and Marshalls because they're like cheaper. But um, it was like a really huge uh, candle and I like the scent of that. So like burning a candle, just like to have your, your scents or, you know, putting essential oils, uh, burning essential oils or something like that. I could be taking a bubble bath, okay? When was the last time you took a bubble bath? Bubble baths can be really, really relaxing. You can put a little Epsom salt in there and you actually can put oils in there too. So if that's what you're feeling. Yes, you like that? Okay, good, 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 good. Scented candles. Okay, are you guys experiencing a delay? Uh, Erica says she's having a delay. I apologize for that. I don't really know why there is a delay, but bear with me. You guys know I am not the technical wizard over here. The fact that I am doing uh, Instagram and Facebook is God's blessing, okay? Because... I just figured this out last week that you could go live on both. So I'm here for it. anyway. All right. So, okay, where was I? Yeah, scented candles. Um, anybody else have other things that they do to make themselves feel good? Or like what, what are things that you really like or things that make you happy? What do you guys do to, um, to, to feel good? I would like to know. Put them in the comments. Let me know. Okay, you guys, if you're there. Hey, if you guys are joining me. Um, please go ahead and say hello to me, wave to me so I can see you, put a comment in there, give me a thumbs up, put a heart, I don't know, put a thumbs down, whatever, I don't know how you're feeling. However you're feeling, let me know, okay, so I know that you're, that you're here. Um, if you're watching the replay, can you please just go ahead and put hashtag replay so I know that you did come by and say hello and show some love, okay? So I would really appreciate it. Um, okay. <laughs> Erica's funny. She's, she said, God is good. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. He will do it. He will do it. Okay. All right. So I don't want to get off track. Where was I? All right. What makes you feel happy? What makes you feel good? Go ahead. You guys can put it in your comments if you have any things you want to share. Um, another thing that I do is, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? I've probably said this multiple times. Nothing. I really like to do nothing. I don't know. Everybody is running around here doing 2,700 million things and I just, that's just not me. I mean, I, I think it's great. You know, I get productivity and, you know, doing the most, but I really enjoy just doing absolutely nothing. That is one of my favorite things to do because I just need downtime. I need to relax. I just need to just tune out. Another thing that I do is I watch my, um, like either Netflix or my reality TV shows. Please don't judge me because that's just what I do. That's what makes me feel good. Um, and people are like, oh, that's just crappy TV. And yeah, I get all that, but that's not really, it's just, I don't I don't think about anything I just kind of tune out and that's just like my entertainment so you know that's just my thing I'm sorry it's that's just what it is so um no not not Erica said Netflix and chill no not really Netflix and chilling that's not what I'm talking about because that's a whole nother that's a whole nother topic no I'm talking about <laughs> just like chilling on the couch by myself with a glass of wine and just doing nothing or you know watching my shows whatever doing nothing okay all right so it's important for you guys to figure out that what is what is it that you that makes you feel good what makes you happy that is one of the ways of how you can love yourself okay all right and then the third and final point I wanted to make is believe in yourself believe in yourself okay now some of us have problems with this okay depending on where you are, what's going on in your life. Some people are just extremely confident and they do believe in themselves and then others have a little bit more trouble with that. All right, so if this is something that you struggle with, okay, either from time to time or maybe once in a blue moon you struggle, guess what? Again, going back to point one, you can focus on 
what it is that you do well, okay? So let's just say you're, you don't have a lot of confidence right now, right? And you're not believing in yourself. Maybe you are you know, about to do something new and different. Like maybe it's starting a business. I know a lot of people are doing that and that's a very scary thing. And, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, most people don't know what they're doing. You're just figuring it out as you go. Um, or maybe it's something, you know, just like a new course or maybe it's just something different that you have never done before in your life. You may not be feeling very confident. So I would just say, Focus on what you do really, really, really well, okay? Even if it has nothing to do with the thing, right, that you're feeling a little bit unsure about, focus on what you do well, you know? Like, what are the things that make you you and unique that people compliment you on or that you just feel good about for yourself, right? Um, You know, like, again, I'm a person who I, I really appreciate my organizational skills, I appreciate that I'm very detailed. Like, there are just certain things that I do well, okay? Um, I'm very good at managing my money. That's something that I do well. So focus on what you do well because the point of what you're trying to do is you're just trying to raise your... I'm, ca- I'm going to call it vibration. Some some of you may be like, what is she talking about? But it's like you're just, you're just bringing your energy up, okay? So really it's about the feeling, okay? So maybe in your mind you're like... You really don't want to, or you know, you're not feeling confident about where you are, or what, the, whatever that thing is. Say it's the business, right? And let's just say it's like you literally are getting started. You have no website, you have no business cards, you have nothing, and you're afraid to do it. Just take one step, okay? Just take one step. That's all you have to do. You don't have to worry about if if it's right, if it's wrong. Just move forward, take a step, okay? Because as you take a step and as you move forward, clarity comes with the action, okay? But before that, if you feel like you need a little bit of a boost, focus on what you already do well, okay? That is a stepping stone or a a thing that you can do to move in the right direction, okay? Now, I'm just using that as an example uh, like for a business, but it could be anything, okay? Um, Maybe it's that you want to... I don't know, let's say I'm going to take something completely different. Like maybe you're very creative or maybe you're a singer, okay? I, I'm not a singer. I, I don't sing well. I mean, it sounds good to me, but I, I mean, I really don't think I'm a singer. But let's just say you are a singer and you really love to sing um, and you are afraid to sing. Like, you, you know, maybe you've never tried it. Like go go to karaoke or, you know, sign up for like a... Um, like an open mic night or something like that. Sign up for something that's going to challenge you or push you a little bit. Because the thing is, like, if you don't put yourself in situations where you can see, you know what I mean, where you are strong and what you can do, it you're never going to know, okay? So to get your... I guess what's the word? The, like the motion, the emotional side up, and to get your to get you into the feeling of being confident and believing in yourself. Focus on what you do well, and then the the second part of that is try to just take a little bit, a little step forward, and do something that scares you a little bit, but something that you know you can do. Right? Signing up for open mic night is something that you can try. So I'm just giving that as an example. Um, you know, for those of you, you may have some other things that you do. I don't know, but. Um, those are a couple things that you can try. Um, Erica says, I struggle with this all the time. Yes, I know. Like it's, it's, and that's the thing, believing in yourself, I, you know, again, people say, oh, I believe in myself or, oh, I love myself. These are just things that people say, but when you really get to the bottom of it, it's like, do you though? Like you're saying that you do. And this is why I'm focusing on self-love this month and self-acceptance because, um, like it's something that we talk about and it's like a saying like people just kind of throw it around oh like self-love self-care but honestly you guys this is something that people struggle with and like I think you struggle with it subconsciously sometimes you may think that you're loving on yourself you may think that you are accepting yourself and really at the end of the day you're not and the way you can tell that is by how you treat yourself your actions your behavior those things are very telling okay so even if you think you're loving yourself a question you can ask yourself is but Okay, so how? Or how how did I love myself today? Right? Ask yourself that question. Or what am I doing to show myself love? Okay? And then take it a step further. What else can I do? Is that how I would want someone else to show love to me? Okay? So that's another thing. I talked about that last week about flipping it around when it's hard for you to figure out if 
you know, you're expressing love in a certain way, flip it. Like a lot of times we are able to express love to other people, right? There's your, your family, you know, maybe it's a spouse, your kids. It's easy for you to, to project that onto them. But then when it comes to you, you put yourself last. You don't, you wouldn't do the same things for yourself that you would do maybe for your kids or for your husband or, or whomever. But it's like, why? You should be the most important person in your life because you have to make sure you're good in order for you to give unto others okay so again your cup has to be overflowing okay you keep your cup full and what is overflowing everything in the saucer and that's spilling out that's what you're giving to other people okay that's just my opinion that's why i think how i think it should go so you're not having to deplete yourself and you know always having to refill 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 your cup okay all right you guys so again let me recap. I'm looking at my notes. First thing is how how do we show love? Or how is the love? Let me tell you how it is. Number one, be kind to yourself, okay? Say kind things, be nice, be a little bit uh, forgiving and uh, accepting of yourself, okay? Oh, hey, Jackie, I see you. Jackie says, are you a coach? Yes, Jackie, I am a coach. Yep, all the time. Stressful. My kids took over my life. Yes, Jackie, I'm telling you. You, that, a lot of people's kids take over their lives. And we know that you love your kids and that's awesome and that's great and that's the way it should be. However, comma, you have to make sure you are good because how can you give to your kids when you're not good, right? So you have to create moments and space and time for yourself to be good. And not just like, you know, once a quarter, that's not enough, right? So you have to try to figure out ways that you can build in time to, you know, do things for yourself, you know, because the better you feel about yourself, the better you feel just in general you can give to others, right? So that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yes, Erica says be patient with yourself. Um, plus check, plus check. Oh, pulse check. Yes. <laughs> yes, pulse check I that she's talking about. I have a pulse check call. That I do it's a free consult where I talk to you guys about like what you're going through what's happening in your lives when you, if you feel like you need a little bit of help so um, but just in general pulse checking to see like where are you like what is happening this is something that you should be doing pretty often um, at the very least like every quarter you need to be checking in I would say like once a month at the minimum but you should just check in with yourself to see like how are you feeling how are you doing you know do you need a break do you need rest like what is it that you need so you should always be constantly you know trying to make sure that you're good okay so um, all right sorry I'm gonna get back I'm like getting sidetracked so number one was be kind um, number two was to treat yourself to things that make you feel good things that that you're that make you feel happy all right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what's going on, you guys. My throat. Actually, my throat has been acting up for weeks now. I don't really understand what the problem is. <clears throat> oh, actually, I, I know what it is. It's really, I'm supposed to be being quiet. Like, I'm, I need to know when to talk and when to not talk. But right now, it's time for talking. But yeah, I've been having... Um, these over the over several weeks, like moments of like just quiet where I'm not talking, where I'm just like being still. Okay. Um, make do things that make you feel good. The third and final thing is to believe in yourself. Okay. And so again, how we start to get there is we focus on what we do well. What are your gifts? Okay. Everybody has gifts. Everybody has things that they do really, really well. And even though you may think it's a small thing to you and you may think it's nothing and because it can come, it comes to you easily and everybody just knows that that's what you do. Like maybe you're like what Erica said, you're a good cook. Don't take that for granted. Some of us cannot cook. I mean, you know, well, okay. So if you can cook well and people love to eat your food and you just have a way of putting a meal together, that is a gift, okay? That is something to be proud of. That is something to highlight, respect, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Not all of us are blessed with that. Now, I'm not saying I can't cook, but I'm just saying that's not really the thing that people, you know, rave about. You know what I mean? Like, I can cook a meal. It can taste good. But you know those people. You know those people who can, like, cook, cook. Those people, like that is a skill and a gift, all right? So if that's something that you, um, you know, do well, be proud and be happy about that, all right? All right, you guys, so that's all I have for tonight. If you guys have any more questions or comments, feel free to put them in there. I can see you for a change. I can see. So, um, 
yes, if you have any comments, questions, um, if you feel like you um, enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you, please, please, please do me a favor and share it. Tag a friend. Um, if there's somebody you think that would want to listen to this, go ahead and put their, um, you know, tag them and, you know, or like this video, share it. I don't know what the, all of the t correct terms are. Also on Instagram. Uh, the thing with Instagram, though, is I don't know if this video saves to Instagram. So if you guys want, you can head on over to my Facebook page. And um, if you're not already following, you can follow me at Sharana Patrice. And I will save the video there so you guys can share that. Okay? Tag a friend. Do all those great things. And um, if you are watching the replay, please go ahead and like uh, put that in there so I know that you are watching the replay. Um, I would so, 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 so love for you to do that um, so I know that you're here. And also, um, if you are interested in coaching or if you feel like you want to talk more about what coaching is, um, kind of what I do and that whole thing, please go ahead and you can uh, actually send me a direct message or you can put it in the comments here. Um, if you're if you're comfortable with that and I can reach out to you and let you know how that works so um, really initially it would be like a like I said as a consult that I do it's called a pulse check call and it's really just kind of like a how I would describe it is like a pre date date like a tea date you know like how you go on a date and it's not really a date date but it's more like mm -hmm, I don't know if I really want to go on a date with this person so I'm just gonna go grab coffee and tea with the person it's that kind of thing, right? So we talk, um, I get to get to know a little bit about you, you get to know about me and my coaching and to see if we would be a good fit to work with each other, okay? So if that's something you're interested in, um, I encourage you to, um, actually I have a, I put the link I think in the caption for uh, scheduling one of those calls. If you're comfortable, you can go ahead and do that. If you want more information, please feel free to DM me or you can put it in the comments, okay? All right, you guys, so I'm going to go unless you guys have any more questions or um, comments. This has been lovely. I feel so much better tonight, and I'm so happy that I can talk because my voice is getting much better. Um, so, yes, thank you for joining me. I love you guys, and I will see you all in the next video, okay? All right, you guys take care. Have a good night.